and uphold the Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic do, will, and truly serve the people of Kenya. I also undertook to hold my office as a Cabinet Secretary with the honor and dignity and to be a true and faithful chancellor to the President of the Republic of Kenya for the good of the management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya and to perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. These have been the guiding tenets under which I have operated in the discharge of my duties as the Cabinet Secretary for the last 22 months and 12 days. Today, as I stand before you, there are some allegations which touch on my character, which has called to question the honor and the integrity of my office as a Cabinet Secretary, recognizing that our Constitution is breathing and alive, aware of my constitutional obligation to obey, respect, and uphold the Constitution and other laws of Kenya, in particular, the law of integrity, fully Pakistan that these allegations have cast some doubt in the trust bestowed on me by His Excellency the President and the Deputy President and the people of Kenya. I am conscious that such allegations have dented the honor and the dignity of my office, whose repute, like that of the Caesar's wife, should be beyond reproach and alive to the fact that the said allegations have somewhat made it impossible for me to be a true and faithful counselor to the president for the good management of public affairs and knowing fully well that I am innocent of any impropriety on my part, fully concerned that the authority assigned to me as a state officer is that of public trust to be exercised in a manner that is consistent with the purpose and objects of the constitution demonstrating respect for the people of Kenya and also to bring honor and dignity to the office of the cabinet secretary and also being aware that my selection to serve as a cabinet secretary was in the basis of personal integrity, competence and suitability and recognizing that selfless service is based solely in public interest and declaration of personal interest that may conflict with my public duties and realizing that I am accountable to the people of Kenya for decisions and actions. I have today, as the owner of the Constitution and the people of Kenya, with humility, decided to step aside for a period of 60 days as directed by his the President from my duties as the Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries to allow for free, independent and impartial investigations of the said allegations by the relevant government organs. Ladies and gentlemen, even as I am stepping aside today, I have never been told of any allegations against me, nor have I been summoned or questioned by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission or any other government organs. I have chosen this road less traveled, not because I am guilty of any allegations, but to lead by example, because public service is based on trust, and once the public confidence eroded, the right thing to do is to step, as, to step aside. As a firm believer in the ideals of democracy and the rule of law, I know fully well that in the fullness of time, I'll be vindicated of any impropriety and hence the scripture scandals. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. I have full support of my family, as can be attested by the presence of my daughter Miriam here today. I also I have also received full legal counsel from my team of advocates. And moving forward, we will be going to the offices of Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission on Monday, first to know the allegations against me and the accusers, and secondly, to record my statement immediately to facilitate expeditious investigations of the same. I am assuring the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission of my full support and cooperation from myself and my legal team to get to the root of this matter. I take this opportunity to thank His Excellency the President and the Deputy President 
and the people of Kenya for the trust that they have bestowed on me to serve the people of my beloved country. I also want to thank all my principal secretaries, staff in the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries, and the Palestinians under the Ministry for their support. God bless Kenya. God bless you all. Thank you very much.